Hello YouTube, Civilian Snowman here and this is the first video that I'm filming on my brand new HD camera. Although this video isn't in HD because I don't have the appropriate software yet, but it should be a damn sight better quality than what you're used to seeing. And this video I thought I'd uh, do on my, my new camera is an unboxing video courtesy of Liam who is DVD Weasel here on YouTube. I sent him a package uh, for Christmas full of uh, stuff which I'm sure he's going to put an unboxing video up himself. Because um, at the time of recording this his video isn't up so by the time you see it it might be up. So yeah he sent me this package which as you can see is a big bastard. And um, I'm going to open it up on camera and see what goodies lie inside. Let me just say first of all that Liam, thanks so much for um, sending this. Alright, so let's see what's inside it. It looks like I'm going to have to cut it open, so I'm going to need a, a small knife or something. Oh, here's one. <laughs> I thought that would be funny. I don't know. I'm childish. I'm just going to cut it open and then um, show you what's inside. Okay, so I've got the box open and here you can see some... Uh, Christmas wrapping paper, which is really exciting and cool. Um, and Liam's put a note in, and it says, "Beware, spoilers inside. Open the DVDs first, which I will." So let's get cracking. Okay, so here goes with the first one. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is amazing. Right, um, so it's Rushmore, the Wes Anderson movie. I was looking for this movie everywhere, and Liam knows this. Um, I, all, I go into HMV on my lunch break nearly every day and um, look for this movie. So I, I'm actually genuinely surprised at this because I couldn't find it anywhere. So Liam, thanks a lot for Rushmore. Um, never seen it, but I'm a big, big Wes Anderson fan, um, so that is awesome. Okay, so on to the second one. See what this is, if I can unwrap it. This video will probably end up being two parts, because there's quite a few things in here. Let's see what this is. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Right, so this one is uh, leaving La uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Leaving Las Vegas. Um, yeah, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, the, uh, the Terry Gilliam movie, right? Um, this is one I've never seen, although I'm a big, big fan of Terry Gilliam. Who isn't? Brazil is fantastic. I've never seen this one, like I said. Um, it's one that everybody's been recommending to me, especially uh, Greg Argander. He's always talking about how I need to see it and stuff, so that's awesome. I really didn't expect this one. Time for the third one. Let's have a loose here. Oh, it's dead exciting. Christmas is coming early. It's really good because um, today, if you're wondering why I'm dressed like a ponce, um, it's because I had a really, really important job interview. Um, I can't go into the specifics, but it was really, really important, which I think went quite well, but I've got the rest of the day off now. I had to book the day off for the interview because um, it took like three hours. So, yeah, I'm not at work. I'm chilling out and opening presents. How cool is that? This one, right? This is the only film that I knew Liam was sending, and that is Lars von Trier's Dancer in the Dark. Um, I've never seen it. Liam has, and he maintains that it's fantastic. Um, I'm pretty sure it's about um, a girl going uh, blind or something. Really looking forward to seeing it, because I'm kind of getting into that sort of film now, like the more obscure cult films. Um, so yeah, Dancer in the Dark is one that I've wanted to see for ages. Here is the next one. Let's see what lays inside. I'll try and open this to make it more interesting for you guys to watch. I'll try and open it on camera if I can. Oh, nice. Oh my god, Lady Vengeance. This is so cool, the Park Chan Wook, Wook movie. Um, is that how you say it? Wook or Wook? Love Old Boy. I absolutely love Old Boy. I've never seen any of the other um, films from the Vengeance trilogy, but Liam, thanks man, that is too much. Um, I Yeah, from the director of Old Boy. Cannot wait to watch it. But you see, a lot of these films I won't have seen that Liam's sending because he's sending stuff that, um, largely that he knows I've never seen. So that is amazing. Thanks, um, thanks for that. Oh my god. <laughs> words, the, just words aren't coming now, aren't coming out of mouth because I'm too grateful. But Liam, you are so awesome. And let's carry on with the rest of the box. Here's another one. I'll try and open it on camera as best I can. Uh, ah. We'll get there, won't we? Very well wrapped, to be honest. With you. 
This is getting scary now because I'm starting to think that Liam's psychic. Because this one is Amelie, the uh, is it Jean Pierre Junet film or something? I can't remember how you say his name. Um, yeah, Jean Pierre Junet. Basically, what's really weird is I was talking um, at my uh, job. I met a couple of guys who were like really into the films, and we were talking about Jean Pierre Junet. And um, one of them was asking me, "Have you seen Amelie? It's a masterpiece." And I said, "No, I haven't. I never have." Um, and he was like, "Oh, you really, really need to see it and stuff." So I was like, "Oh yeah, next time I see a copy of it, I'll pick it up if it's cheap and stuff." But Liam sent it. This is getting scary. To be honest, I'm I'm getting. Um, a bit <laughs> embarrassed now because this one is huge. I, I have no idea what it is, so let's get it open and find out. Oh my god, how cool is that? Once Upon a Time in the West, the uh, collector's edition. That is incredible. Like, I know that um, Becca wanted to get me this for my birthday and she couldn't find it. Um, that is awesome. Liam knows that I'm a huge, huge Sergio Leone fan, as is he. That's um, one of the things that sparked up conversation when we first kind of got in touch with each other. And um, Once Upon a Time in the West is like one of the only films of his I don't own. Got all the Dollars trilogy, got um, Fistful of um, Dynamite or Ducky Sucker, whatever you want to call it. Once Upon a Time in the West, seen it when I was a kid, can't wait to see it again. Liam, that is incredible. Here's the next one that I'll try and um, open up for you. Look. Oh, it's the other um, Park Chan Wook movie, uh, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. Like I said, never seen the others. Um, Old Boy is a masterpiece. I just. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Liam, so much. That is awesome. Like, I've been wanting to get them for ages, but because, you know, the HMV that's near me never has them. That is so awesome. Liam, thanks so much. Uh, okay, so we're on to the final package now. Um, here it is, the final present, whatever. So I'll try and open it up for you. Ah, let's have a loose here, shall we? This one's a bit of a surprise. Ah, look. It's the uh, Charlize Theron movie, Monster, the one where she looks like a, a bit of a bloke. Never seen it, but um, wanted to for a while. Uh, Liam, I had no idea that you were even thinking about sending this one. That is awesome. Um, another film that I've been wanting to see, but just I never got around to buying, but um, that's incredible. I don't know whether or not Liam wanted me to read the letter out on camera, but I'm going to do it anyway, because um, I'm feeling jiggy. Um, right, let's have a quick read at it, shall we? He's put, Hey Jack, Merry Christmas to you and Becca, and happy belated birthday to you. Hope you had a great one, which I did, thanks very much. There are DVDs for both occasions, and I hope you enjoy them all, even Dancer in the Dark, in, bra um, in brackets. Forget about it being Lars von Trier as you watch, as I know you don't really like him. Lars von Trier is a prick. I've never seen any of his films. They could be masterpieces, for all I know, but I just don't like him as a guy. Um, I knew you wanted Once Upon a Time in the West, so I wanted to get the best edition. Also completed your Vengeance trilogy. Absolutely, that's incredible, Liam. Um, can't wait to hear your thoughts. Thanks to some Sly Detective work from Becca. I hopefully didn't send you anything you already have, which you didn't. That's incredible, because uh, Becca really doesn't know what I've got, because there's so many of them, she just doesn't know. Um, hope you don't mind shoddy rapping as I did it myself. I thought I was impressed by rapping, but that's coming from me. I'm crap at rapping. Anybody who saw um, Raz's uh, package opening video, the Christmas box I sent him, you can really tell which was rapped by Becca and which was rapped by me because it's fairly obvious. Um, I still don't think it matches the epicness of the shield, but I hope you love it nonetheless. Thanks for all this, Jack. Being really fun, Liam. Um, obviously. What I sent him was um, a box full, um, all seven seasons of The Shield on DVD, which, um, like I said, I don't know whether his video will be up by the time you see this, but um, I also added a little surprise gift in there as well, so um, that he didn't know about. So you'll get his genuine reaction on camera, hopefully. <laughs> right, so Liam, thanks so much, and I just, words can't describe how grateful I am. So um, everybody, I'm going to put a link to Liam's channel in the description box. Please go over and subscribe, because he's a really awesome dude. And uh, Liam, thanks so much, and have a very Merry Christmas. Right, see you later.